this is Shoot Woods here. I'd like to clear up the two other videos that I made three years ago. Is that I made this video that I recommended or four people thought I recommended to change a roller every hundred pages. Well, I think people misunderstood that video. I do not, I never have before recommended to change a roller every 100 pages. That to me is a waste. You have to change a roller by the service manual's interval, which is from 1000 pages on the personal printers to 200,000 pages with the work group printers. However, modern printers, the, the like model ones, can, can have up to 220,000 pages. So that is very long paper roller life. So I have never recommended replace every 100 pages. That, that's no point. Why do that? You have a whole rash of paper rollers being rubbish. And another instance is that people misunderstood. If the fan is running, everything's fine. If, if you get a test print, everything's fine. That is certainly not the case. Because you could have problems with EP problems and you and you still get a test print out of the machine. I uh, there's no you know, that's 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 wrong. That, that that is absolutely wrong. You do get print problems. So that statement that I made three years ago was wrong. There's troubleshooting procedures that has to be taken place. If the fan is working and spinning, that is at least a start that the machine is powered, powered, powering up. That's at least a start. That will indicate that, that the power is okay. Secondly, if you, if you can get a test print in the machine, that means that the DC controller is punching okay. And if you get a test page with the engine test and a full matter test, full matter test pages, that means those two boards are okay. If you still have problems with the machine, then you have to do a half test a half test procedure. That will indicate if the fuser or the toner cartridge is giving you problems. If the print problem is on the page initially before it reaches the fuser, that means that the, the toner cartridge is at fault. Now if the print if the print page is clear and is and normal before reaching the fuser then the tire cartridge is okay. However, if you have the problem after the tire is fixed onto the paper from the fuser unit, then that means the fuser unit is faulty. And that and that can and that can mean a number of things, such as um, worn out upper roll, which can be either film or by halogen. And it could be the heater unit, which could be halogen and ceramic, flat ceramic. And another thing that can cause the fuser unit of the heater up is that the, the, the heater part of the fuser is faulty and not heating up very as well as it should. I've seen some, I've seen some fuses that are burnt where the, at the power connector. And that's what I've seen with a number of machines in the past. Another thing that can go wrong is the heating for, mi for, for mister. 
that can get dirty, be a dirty sensor, and the fuser can be, the DC controller can think that the fuse is hotter than it actually is, and somehow it can cook the, f the fuser unit, and Tyler can, can, um, can, um, boil, or get very, very hot, onto the paper, and the toner will peel off onto the roller. That is due to being very, very hot. So it can't be, it can't, you know, it has to be at a, at a really good, it has to be at a, a reasonable temperature, about 400 degrees, max, in order to work properly. It has to, it has to, the toner has to, the, the, well, during the fusing, stage, the paper is pressed, the toner is pressed onto the paper with pressure, and the toner melts onto the paper into the paper fibres. Now if the fuser doesn't heat up to a, to a temperature to do that, then the toner can rub off. Generally, generally if the, the heater assembly doesn't heat up, but that, that, that will normally cause a 50 service error, but that doesn't really, but, but with modern printers sometimes that, does, that doesn't happen, so therefore the, 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 the tire rubs off, completely rubs off, and I've seen that before too, so troubleshooting printers and computers are not easy as it looks, then it can take a lot of troubleshooting to isolate a problem. Mm. And the problem can be a sensor problem, as I said with phantom paper jams in, in the videos before this one. So, to sum up, I've never recommended changing a roller every 100 pages. I've never said if the fan's running everything's fine, if you get a test print everything's fine. I never said that. I have never, never recommended that. You ha I recommend you should change the roller at the appropriate interval according to the manufacturer service manual. And that could be up to 100, and that can be from 1000 pages, oops, sorry, up to 100,000 pages to 225,000 pages with, with the modern machines. So there's different intervals in place. Fuses, so fuses and rollers have um, come in in a kit and generally that is up to 220,000 pages. So that's pretty much that's pretty much it. So uh, 100,000 100, pages with, with, with the older models, like the personal machines. And I, in my opinion, I could be wrong, that I feel that modern personal printers should have 100,000 interval and the work group machines like the machines behind me should have 200,000 page interval well I would recommend my personal recommendation is that to sum up that rollers personal machines should be 100,000 work group machines should be 200,000 pages so that's what that's my opinion anyway. I, well, I could be wrong, but that's my opinion. But certainly not every 100 pages. Okay. Thank you for watching this video, and please make a comment and rate it.